Egypt's state budget for the financial year 2018-2019 was announced earlier this week and now awaits parliamentary approval. It should be implemented on the first day of the financial year on July 1st. CGTN's Yasser Hakim spoke with Yehia Abul Fatfutu, the vice president of Egypt's largest bank, the National Bank of Egypt, on expectations ahead of the year. He started by asking about the government decision to sell shares of state-owned companies and banks. The Egyptian stock market is one of the fastest growing markets in the world in the last year and a half concerning the profit margins and sales. But what is missing are the products. These products are new shares. The government decided to introduce shares from companies in different sectors of the economy, including banks. I believe this will have a positive effect as the international, local and Arab markets have been demanding these inclusions. I think these shares will make the Egyptian stock market and investment climate in Egypt more attractive for international investors. Uh, what is the strategy of the uh, central bank in dealing with the high interest rates and to try to tackle inflation in Egypt? Inflation increased very quickly after floating the pound and reducing subsidies. It rose gradually to reach 34%. This was expected from before. There was a negative effect, so we had to take countermeasures like introducing certificates with 20% and 17% interest rates. This was a big success and helped push prices back down to its normal levels to help increase investments, pump funds for loans to stimulate the economy and the Egyptian market. What is your feedback on the economic reforms been undertaken by the government in the last few years? These measures were painful but inevitable. We started the actual reforms in November 2011. It was bold and actually 40 years late. It had to be a comprehensive plan of reforms to avoid any more delays. Now, we see the results. The foreign reserves at the central bank exceeded $42 billion now. The influx of funds in the financial sector was more than $100 billion lately. This covered all our needs and important bills and the stability in the forex for some time now. Actually, the pound has strengthened in the last year. The remittances from Egyptian experts increases by 40 to 50 percent every year. This is a reflection of the trust in the Egyptian economy, especially from Arab and foreign investors. How is the relationship with China and economic cooperation with the Chinese government and the Chinese businesses? The economic development in China is a model that we should learn from. Many of us would dream of achieving the same results and success in China. We have very good ties and cooperation with China, in bilateral trade and investments in particular. For instance, a few days ago we inaugurated the huge business and banking district in the new capital. It's constructed by China. Also, our bank had opened a representative office in China which has been elevated to become a large branch now. Recently, we finally received the license from Chinese authorities to deal in China's currency. This is a very good step to build on. I am delighted to say we are the first Arab and African bank to work in the Chinese market and receive this license. So, we will play a big role in the economic cooperation in the future.